So this gives us a lot of information about each individual foot and how it's contributing to the total forces that we have seen from our single plate. So now we're moving on to our Cadillac product, our top of the line product, which is our dual motion plate. So you can see just like in our single motion plate, there is a pressure plate on top of a force plate. Uh, this gives you all the same pressure information that you'd get from your, from your balance plate and from your single motion plate, but now it's divided into two plates. So you can see now two separate force plates, two separate pressure plates. So now we can see the individual contributions of each foot. So on the single plate, when we get that horizontal force, we don't know how much is coming from your right foot and how much is coming from your left foot. Now we can divide it up to see which foot is producing most of those forces. Same thing with the vertical forces. We can now examine the toe heel shearing forces to see how that's working to create rotation. All these things give us a lot of new information that we can dig into the individual contributions of each leg, which when we talk about our dominant leg testing is very important to see which leg is producing most of those forces to create your golf swings. We can also divide up torque now into torque person and torque plate. Torque plate is the traditional torque value that we've given you with the single plate. That's measured about the middle of the 3D motion plate. Torque person now is gonna be measured about the center of pressure. Uh, and we can also divide up torque person into the individual contributions of each foot. We know in golf, golfers are twisting their foot into the ground and creating what we call in biomechanics a free moment on that plate. In the single plate, those free moments kind of cancel each other because both feet were doing opposite things to the plate. Uh, and we couldn't see when that was happening. With the dual plate, we can now see those free moments on the plate and how the golfer is twisting their foot into the ground. So this gives us a lot of information about each individual foot and how it's contributing to the total forces that we have seen from our single plate. The great news is if you're very used to the single plate, it will give you all that exact same information. You can use it just like a single plate for a while and then dig into those dual forces and understand how to use those to help your golfers.